Welcome back, eh? This is the Canadian Silver Seeker? And I got another couple packages in the mail today. They just don't stop, it seems like. We have a 1956 Canadian Silver Dollar, and in this box we got something special from an LCS. Um, this is actually not a local coin store to me. This is a coin store actually in British Columbia. And when I was searching for this particular product, I actually found this site on Amazon. And from Amazon, I did a little research on the seller and found them and found their actual website. And I found that I could find it even $40 cheaper if I purchased it directly from their site. So I went ahead and did that. Let's take a look. So we'll take a look at the Canadian silver dollar first here. So we do have a piece of paper in there. And I can feel the silver dollar is in that, but it looks like there's some correspondence on it. So I'm just going to open it up over here. There we go. There is my 1956. It is a little dirty. Um, I got it really cheap. And the guy said I could dip it to try to get some of that PVC gunk off. I don't know if I will or not. It's not a super expensive silver dollar or a rare date or anything. Uh, I'll probably just keep it the way it is being that it's a coin. Let's take a look here. And let's take a look at the other package here. So this one, I have to admit, I'm a little excited for. It's nothing super special, but it is something a little special to me. Oh, didn't get all the edges. I'll put it back here. Oh, got the invoice out of there. Royal Canadian Mint, a couple boxes here. It looks like a square holder. So I did purchase three things here. They were all relating to Canadian silver dollars. You can see that one. Says Royal Canadian Mint on it. Let's take a look at what's in this one. So, oh, had to shoot this one again. My face was very clearly visible in this reverse proof from 1984. This is a 50 year commemorative of Toronto. And as you can see, there's a bit of a variation on the Voyager. There's only one guy in the canoe paddling. And instead of the background having the northern lights and some trees, you've got the skyline of Toronto there. Very nice coin. This one is actually only 50% silver, but I ended up finding it uh, when I was searching for the original pa uh, product I found on eBay um, for quite pricey, being that it's not uh, at the Royal Canadian Mint anymore. Uh, I ended up finding the site in Amazon. And I basically, you know, tracked down the seller. I found that their website was legitimate. It had been open multiple years. They had multiple good reviews on Amazon or on Google. And I figured, hey, you know, I'll give them a chance. I ended up getting three items for probably $60 or so less than one item was worth on eBay. So... This is kind of a bonus item for me. I'm glad I came across it on the site. I will put a link to the site online um, in the video here. As long as this all tests out as silver. I don't really doubt it, but I will definitely do some testing before I give you guys the link. 
So yeah, that's the first one there. The second one here is a proof silver dollar from 2003. And this one is made out of four nines fine silver. So you can see this is just another Voyager, except for it comes from 2003. And instead of being that 80% silver that the Canadian dollar is kind of synonymous for, this one is four nines fine silver. This was also kind of a bonus item. Um, I wasn't specifically looking for this. Um, but when I found the site, I did find a few other items. And like I said, it was much cheaper than buying on eBay. So I picked up a few things. Very nice. Let's take a look at the last item and the item that I made the purchase for. This is the one that I was looking for. It's kind of special to me, being that you can't get one of these. This is a 2011 commemorative silver dollar commemorating the 1911 silver dollar. I will never have a 1911 Canadian silver dollar in my set and neither will you, being there was only three of them minted that year they weren't put into circulation and i do believe they're all accounted for currently in different museums so this particular silver dollar um, is the 100 year basically commemorative of the 1911 it looks very much similar to the original uh, 1911 silver dollar um, some of the main differences that I have noticed would be instead of the number one there underneath the crown, um, the real Canadian silver dollar from 1911 has the wording one in there, O-N-E. And then obviously it wouldn't have the 2011, 1911 to 2011 in the bottom there. The Royal Canadian Mint also made another tribute to this. It would be a 90-year tribute back in 2001. It did have the wording 1 instead of the number 1. And on the back of it, instead of having King George, it actually has Queen Elizabeth on there. I'll put a picture up there on the screen for you guys so that you can see what I'm talking about. I found one other different one. Um, it was from the National Collector's Mint from 2006, the Cook Islands. And that particular one um, had a picture instead of the crown up there in between the wreath, it had a picture of Queen Elizabeth in there. And I believe it did have the, the wording $1 Canadian. And then in between Canadian and the number to 1911, it had tribute to 1911. On the back, it did have King George, but over on the left-hand side, it has Cook Islands in there. And I will put a picture of that one up on the screen for you guys to see, too. Anyways, I'm going to test these out. And I did forget to say... Um, this particular coin, just like the original 1911, is made out of 925 sterling silver. But remember, it doesn't cost you a single piece of silver or gold to like and subscribe. You guys mean the world to me. Happy stacking, eh?